Namaste, peace warriors and friends. Thanks for joining me today. How is everyone? Happy New Year. Uh, the sun is shining. Life is good. The energy in the, the field is amazing. And uh, the word that my guides and angels gave us today is so oh, beautiful. Um, it's sanctify. Uh, um, sanctify. So, wow. Um, again, a word I don't use on a regular basis, and I love that they give me these words and that are um, unusual for my daily uh, vocabulary. But sanctify means to make holy, um, to cherish, to... Um, honor in that way. Um, and uh, they brought that word sanctify to us for today, um, kind of in relation to the new year and uh, a good start to let us know that they sanctify us and that we don't sanctify each other and then we need to realize that we're like these highly spiritual beings and we were brave enough to come on this earth and we are worth so much more than we think we are uh they they've showed me this image before but they they want to make it clear when it has to come to the new year when you're trying to set your resolutions and your goals and even if you know it's the middle of the year or whatever that they're bowing to us. They sanctify us for being brave and being these beings that are bringing love and light into this earthly three-dimensional plane. And if you're part of that mission, they, they sanctify every human. But those of us that really put an intention out to the universe to help raise the vibration and be um, a ball of love and light and, um, and motivation and, uh, as it part of our daily life to like help others and help the planet and the animals and the, in nature, like let's all work together to make this a better place, a peaceful place, a loving place, a light filled place, this place we have on earth we, where we are right now in the now. We are sanctified by those of us, our guides and angels that are watching over us and just sending us um, little secrets of like how we can make that happen. They are watching us and sanctifying us and thinking us holy and they're bowing to us. They are bowing to us and how this relates to the new year is that as an inspiration of like when you create your goals or your vision for or vision board or whatever for the new York year or even if you're you know this isn't something that's a new year thing it's you know in the middle of the year if you're thinking about okay what are my goals what are my two month goals two year goals ten year goals that sanctifying ourselves and it goes back to like loving ourselves again that they're saying but know that we are a very special, important being and that uh, that we can share that. If we know that in our heart, we'll walk around with that energy, that frequency of being a sanctified being. And then we walk around with the energy of being a sanctified being then we share that energy and that energy is contagious and you make a difference in the world. So they just want to say you are amazing, spiritual, enlightened soul that decided to be here now and they love you. So put that into your resolution is like, I am good enough. I am a sanctified soul. And, and that is going to be the underlying factor for all my goals. It's just like to, you know, I, in my career, like I, you know, I, if, if you're, you feel like you're a sanctified soul, I think you'll, 
be more happy in your career or you'll find a career that you like more. You'll find, you'll be with friends that fulfill you more as a sanctified soul. So you sanctify, sanctify, sanctify. I mean, just the energy of words is sanctify. Oh, I just feel that. How that feels with the energy of me, it kind of goes down from my crown chakra into my heart and then like, and then blossoms and blooms like all over my body. Like I am sanctified. It just, it feels like all of me. I just, I love that. That is the word for this day on the earth. And that, that is the message of, as we all are, you know, here in the dark, in the Northern hemisphere in the darkness of the winter, well, it's bright today, but you know, uh, and people get depressed this time of year and, you know, just to know that we are loved and we are sanctified and that is something we should not forget. Okay. So Milo farm Oracle deck, as I'm looking outside and have my beautiful animals that I miss so much. Oh, I, I must tell you about this and this ties with sanctify. Um, I just got back from a trip, uh, went to Colorado, New Mexico, and I miss these babies so much. I'm seeing my Socrates and my, uh, donkeys outside that are, are my heart. Um, but I I visited some Native Americans in New Mexico, and I, I think that's one of the highlights of my trip, though the trip was amazing. There were so many highlights, but, um, pure sanctified souls there. And like moving that, you know, just take the time to look into the eyes of other sanctified beings on the earth. And just as you go through your day and you'll just realize that we are all connected and there's a love tie there. I'm sitting there showing me a spider web, a spider web from all of us to all of us. Okay, so steps to completion, fire, okay, full moon. So it's a full moon uh, today, funny enough, and, and the nine, it's a nine is the numerology um, number on this card, and nine is completion. Ah, oh, we are complete, they're saying, we are complete. We feel like we're not complete, and to remember that, that was the primary message that I, I part of the message that I miss is the sanctify, like all... We have all we need. Everything is perfect. Like we feel like we're in, like we have these, these problems with it. I'm not good enough. I'm not, it's complete. We are, we are perfect in the shoes we walk in and it is a full moon and I bless the full moon and it is perfect and you are perfect and steps to completion. Like we, so every breath they're telling me every breath is a step to our completion. We are on that path. We are on that path to completion. Like it is a step. Another breath. We are sanctified. Another breath. I am sanctified. Another breath. You are sanctified. Sanctify. Love it. Love it. Love it. I love you. I love the day. I love this year. Namaste, peace warriors and friends. Until next time, I appreciate this time together. Bye-bye.